Okay, we're back with another review of some IEMs. These are the Kiwi Ears Dulce. So the driver, the single dynamic driver in each side is coated with LPT, L, LDP. I don't know what, what I just did, but LDP. And from the looks of it, it is like a, uh, what was it? It was, it's not a metal, it's like a, carbon type of um, coating and these sound insane so when I first put them in I was a little confused because they I didn't know what I was like really hearing um, it sounded a little hollow and like not too good but when you start going through different um, songs, you realize, like, oh, there's, like, this empty space that all these little details are starting to fill. So here they are. They have this, like, blue and black um, fade right here. Uh, let's crack that open. So that's the way the wire is set up. It's um, shielded by some plastic, so you just get a little bit of the wire showing. And what would these work with? So a wire like this would work with um, like the Buono 7 because it's shielded. It won't work with um, the 7 hertz because that's flat. So. There's that. It's, it's a very good wire. Feels good. It's OCC, so that's Ono Continuous Copper, uh, which is always something you you know want to try to get, in my opinion, because it, it's more pure, and the more pure connections you have, the better your sound. Uh, so, let's see what's in the box. Comes like this, little sleeve, and then you have to, you know, wiggle it, do one of these, pop it out. You get your stamp of approval from the factory. Hopefully, no one was hurt while making these. Um, and then the buds come right in here with the medium tips already attached. And then your wire and your extra buds are in here. And that's it, there's no manual, um, there's really no details, no pictures, no audiograph. Um, and so far I haven't been able to find an audio, or what is it, uh, I'll just call it an audiograph, um, of, you know, this sound signature, or like what, what frequencies this thing hits. So I'm just gonna base it off my experience. Um, once I started playing and I just let some songs play, it really hit me that this is like a more um, refined seven hertz uh, zero, the sound note seven hertz zero. The tuning I would say is similar. Um, it's a little bit more uh, detailed. Uh, it has maybe the same pain points, you know, if you're sensitive to certain high frequencies, you know, if you're sensitive to these, you're going to have the same sensitivity to these. So you might have to lower it a little bit. Um, but this is, I would say, a good companion to this or a purchase over this even though I know, you know, these are very loved. Everyone likes these. Maybe not everyone, but a lot of people like these. Um, I would say if you have like $25, just get these. I think these are $23. And that brings me to the next point. For $23, this is like, it's not quite a, to the level of, you know, like a, Sennheiser, um, 
because there is that hollowness to the sound and that hollowness kind of removes like that full like mature sound from the from like what you're listening to um so you know when you go up in price you get more of that like thicker mature sound and that's why different buds exist like fifty dollar to you know, i don't know like a thousand dollar buds are round uh because the tuning is more refined and the placement of instruments is better and it's fuller and all that but these um for the price are completely insane now the tips that they come with um have like a kind of a like a matte coating or they're just matte i guess like this you know how that you can see how that's like a matte finish but the matte finish on the stock tips is a little slippery it's like um a polished matte but i don't know how to put it but it just slips out basically they're not they're not going to stay in the way you want them to stay in let me pull these out Yeah, I can just feel they're slippery. I don't know if slippery is the word, but they're just not ready. <laughs> so I tried a bunch of different tips. Um, the ones that do work and also keep all of the qualities of the sound are... Oh, I messed up. There we go. Are these right here so I don't know what company um, these are these were uh, given to me so these work very well this has like a, um, a, a kind of sticky coating and it helps them stay in because this um, you know tip is pretty far from your ear so like this part doesn't really rest too well but you can make up for it by just having a sticky tip or a tip that um, bends. So that would be like a spin fit. So a medium spin fit worked really well on here. It articulates like that. Um, now, obviously, the smaller the bore, the more bass. Uh, when I had these in and I played a very bassy song, um, it was a little like jarring and kind of hurt my head because it was very strong. When the song calls for very deep, strong bass, these can do it. And if you have the small bore tip, it's going to hurt um, not your eardrums, but your head. It's going to rattle your head. So I went with the slightly wider ones over here. Um, let's go to the cable. So right angle. It's really nice and solid. Uh, let's go into the design. So it's kind of see-through. I can see the driver right there and the right and left wire. And that wire comes up and connects to your pins right there. Um, So yeah, uh, these are definitely worth the price, worth having. Um, if you want something, I guess, on the go that's going to shock you and you don't care if it breaks because it's only 20, these are the ones. Um, you could be sitting in a Starbucks and you have these on and you're going to hear details that are just going to like... 
um, I guess just shock you, like jar, you know, your mind. Uh, a little bit more than these right here. So these are good still. Um, kind of a little bit more calm than this. Uh, so if you want more of a calming sound, go with these. Still great detail. Everything is great with these, This the cell notes. Um, but this is more of like a like a bump and a half up um, from these. So if you're looking for that next set, budget set, I think I think the Kiwi Ears uh, Dulce is the one. So let me go into the source real quick. Uh, you could stop watching if you want, but let me go into different sources. So I've connected it to my Focusrite and it's good on there. I listen to Tidal through my Focusrite uh, 6i6. Sounds great. Then I have connected it to my, um, here we are, here's my DAC, the Hibby FC3 with my um, USB-C to Lightning OTG cable. And I hooked this up to the iPhone. I played it with Apple Music. Most of the songs I play are 24-bit by 44 or 24-bit by 96. Um, I can tell that, like, when you have one of these that actually lets the full um, bit rate through, you can tell the difference between 16 and 24. Um, so, yeah, 24 through this thing with these is insane. Um, and through Tidal, uh, through the Focusrite, it is only 16-bit by 44. That's usually what it is capped out at. Still sounded great. Um, so yeah, there you go. The Dulce.